Hi, good people. Hope your day is starting out well and ends well. Let me read the disclaimer. All information provided on this channel is for educational purposes only. And this channel does not promote or encourage misuse of the information. Take what resonates with you and what does not resonate with you, put it on the shelf and throw it away. This particular subject is, is what Harris said um, she's going to do and what policies uh, Harris proposing. Now, I'm going to read what I see. And then I'm going to read what is said, she said. Now, um, I've also listed the definition of republic and democratic as well. I'm not going to read it. You'll be able to see it. Uh, here's my point of view. We are all part of the same team regarding addressing social issues. It's not about condition of a few, but which is what they have been doing. They've been taking care of a few, but it's about the masses now. We all have a collective responsibility to ensure the well-being of our society. Now, I generally don't get into politics. But as I mentioned in one of my video, maybe several, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, years ago, over 30 years ago, I dreamed of, uh, and it was really one of those, I used to dream a lot about things that was going to happen and did happen. Uh, and, and this particular dream was one of them. Uh, I dreamed that there was going to be a woman president and the way the dream was she was in the car presidential car and i was sitting in the presidential car with her uh but i could not see her face and also it was said to me that the president was going to be a black woman now Am I saying, well, first of all, let me just finish saying this. It did not show me whether the black woman was going to be good or not good. Okay. It just showed me that it was a black woman, even though I didn't see her face and she was going to be the president. Now, Camila is president right now. She's acting president. Now, it didn't say in my dream that she was going to be acting president or president. It baked, well, it basically says she's going to be president. It didn't say whether it was permanent or not. So I took it as a black president woman. I took it as that's the period that we're going to go back into the matriarchal spirit because when I saw Obama became president, Obama to me represented the, the time that the black men was ruling, what black men was ruling. And that's what he represented to me. And so uh, when Trump came in, that's when the Avions start ruling. So, and I see this thing going backwards. Uh, it will go into the matriarchal completely. Whether I'm still here or not, it's going to go because I see, I when I look at the clock, the clock goes continuously in a cycle. Everything done in this earth is done in cycles. And so, uh, again, let me read what I have experienced and what I have seen. Homelessness is a social issue that requires our collective attention. 
It is not about moving. It is not about moving individual off the street, but providing them with housing and support. Right now, they're living in my city. They're living in tents. They provided tents for these people. That's crazy to me. But downtown Atlanta has so many vacant buildings, and it looks pathetic for people that want to come into the community and uh, uh, and buy up or live in the community. It's, to me, it's trashy. Downtown Atlanta is trashy because there's very many vacant buildings, and also there are homeless people uh, always about. And, and guess what? They pretty much surround City Hall. Now, that should tell you something. If I worked in City Hall or if I lived uh, uh, on the streets, I would wonder and question, City Halls is where you take your grievances, but yet people are still homeless. And we're told here in the city of Atlanta that we cannot provide homeless people with anything. We'll get a citation. Ain't that a blip? Uh, I did do, uh, my daughter and I, we, we went around, we did censorship. We volunteered to do censorship. And so I got a chance to, it was regarding homeless people. They were counting homelessness, people that was homeless. So we had little kits to provide with them, to provide to them. But we were told then that we were not allowed to give them no more than what was given given to us uh, by the state to give to them. Isn't that something? Okay. So what should we do? We should house them and provide care for them. Okay. Now, uh, rental raises, rent without pay raises. The rental in Atlanta is horrible. The rent, you, you, you have to have pretty much, if you're not in a home itself, in the rental, you have to have a roommate uh, or someone you can trust to stay with you because with the retired money that people are getting, it's just not enough to take care of personal necessities. Necessities as in housing, which would be the rental, uh, 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 utilities, which include water, you have to pay for water and uh, light. And then if they have gas, you got to pay for that too. So I think it's, it's, it's just unfair. It's not right where uh, they're able to raise the rent, but you're not getting pay raises from the companies that you're working at. That That's not fair. Okay. Health increases without a significant increase in retirement money. And so here's what happened to me. I was on Medicaid because I told y'all I was in a real bad car accident and I damaged parts of my body. Okay. So I was on Medicaid. So what they did to me, when as soon as I turned 62, they put me on early retirement without my permission. And I guess the way the laws are, they didn't need my permission. But they put me on early retirement. And they also, uh, when they put me on early retirement, that penalized me. And they said, and I called them and asked them why they do. Well, they put me on early retirement and they it penalized me and also forced me to have to pay for Medicare. Uh, they took the hundred and something dollars out of my um, retirement check without my permission. And so I literally had to go to the office to show them that there's no way that I could pay the amount that they took out of my check. And so they removed it. 
okay so at the same time they told me that when i turned 67 that i was not going to get my full benefit i was looking forward to that because i worked very damn hard and so it's not fair that people work hard in this earth in america and they look forward to retirement and 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 then retirement people uh is not uh getting their full benefit some of them i have seen women out there my age uh still working because that the cost of living you know it's nothing wrong with having a nice home a nice car uh being able to go on vacations and stuff that's you earn that because you work hard <laughs> okay and so but when you get to a place of retirement and that money is not covering those things that's not right so that's a problem in itself that's why you see so many elderly people still working uh they're still working because they want to keep their lifestyle up but still their penny pension that's not fair you know, I, I'm a firm believer, even though I'm I'm not working, have not worked in a while because of my body, uh, I still believe in hard work. And those that, that do work hard, they deserve the benefits, good benefits when they retire. Uh, you know, and it's, it's just not fair. And that's just not what's, what's happening. Now, those who were getting Medicare was forced into early retirement, like I said, at age 62, and forced to pay Medicare. Now, this came from the Obamacare Act. Now, they were also penalized and could not and could only get the could not get the full benefits. Uh, okay. Now, those that decided to do because this GMO food that, that we're getting out of the grocery stores, uh, people decide in Georgia, in Atlanta, well, in Georgia, to, to build gardens uh, so they can have their own food. Uh, they are limited in the size of the garden that they can grow. Isn't that something? Because they want to keep taking the money to that nasty ass food that you buy at the store. That's terrible. Uh, I remember when I was in high school, they had trade. So what they did, the trading during that time, they had skill job, st skill trading that you could do. So when you leave high school, you can go into becoming a carpenter. You can go into becoming a tailor. You can go into sewing. Uh, uh, you can go into cooking. They had commercial cooking there. They had ver various things that would enable you to go out and get a decent job and work. Okay, and a lot of people did just that. They went out and worked. So uh, quite a few of them did not go to college. Now this is my theory. My theory is because. They saw people too happy. Hmm. They cut the trade out a lot in some school. It may be one or two things. So what they did, they increased the pay into the colleges. They increased the monetary value of the colleges. And when students graduated, their fees cost thousands to pay back. You, you think they're right? physicians doctors those that get phds uh their their uh, fee is greater the you know and that's not right so when they finished college they spent half of their life paying that damn tuition you think that's fair that's not fair we 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 work we go to college so we can make more money that's primarily the reason to make more money Okay, and then some of us may have gotten into a subject that we were going to like, but a lot of us went into subjects that was going to make more money. So when you graduate from college, you're going to make more money. Trust me. But that's not right. It's just not right. 
education should be free medicare should be free medication should be free housing should be reduced i'm talking about rental rental should be reduced the interest that they charge for you to purchase a home there is ridiculous that's not fair to me if you're making twelve hundred dollars you shouldn't you you you, you should you shouldn't be having to have three times the rental. Uh, that's crazy as hell to me. Three times the rental. If you make, if you get twelve hundred dollars a month, and you got your rent is eight hundred, which is is not your rent is eight hundred. They still should provide you with that rental service for as long as you haven't uh uh cause problems with other rental places okay let's be more caring in this world those of you that are in high position you go to these meetings and you you i'm just going to talk about the, the the ones that went to college uh uh they got decent jobs but the money that you're getting ain't really satisfying you because you want to retire so you can go on vacation and, and enjoy yourself but you can't because you got to keep up your living and why not have that living you deserve it but you're the ones that are going to these meetings and you're saying ugly things about these people that don't work you don't let me tell you something i don't believe in a lazy person I don't believe in a lazy person. I do believe and have seen that circumstances, situation, mental, mental mostly have affected people that have caused them not to, not to want to work. You know, there's too many uncaring people in this world that need to change. And I'm talking about relatives. I'm talking about church people. I'm talking about all those people that, that, that should be caring that don't care. Are you your brother's keeper? Are you your sister's keeper? You are. Because what you sow, that you shall reap. Let me tell you something. I spent a lot of my years, my youthful years, I had to I had an aunt I had to take care of. My grandpa I had to take care of. Uh, I didn't live in the house with my mother, but I only provided, uh, well, I did take her some places, and I did buy her some clothes items because she had gained weight then now she was a sharp dresser but she had gained weight and she got sickly and so i had to go and buy her something that she was comfortable in so i went out and bought her some african attire because it was more roomy for her and she wanted to go to church so i didn't want to her to go to church looking any kind of way and i took her to church but she was sick, but she had to go to church. You know, I didn't live with her, but she called me many times uh, telling me that one of her uh, children, and I'm not going to call their name, but one of her children was on their way to bring her something to eat, and that they never made it. So I had to jump in the car and go get her where she wanted and took it down there. I did that for my mother, okay? And we are we our mothers our family should we be there we should but but here's the little thing that 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 i have uh this is how i feel about family when you have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried with your family to to show them who you are and all you ask for is respect and they don't give it to you and you have to always be the one that take the initiative to to be there for them to support them and and you're not it's not being reciprocated and you're not happy with that situation you're gonna have to just let go you're gonna have to let go and love those people from a distance because they are selfish and they will stay selfish and they'll stay selfish until they decide not to be selfish and maybe sometimes they are so blind they can't see how selfish they are you know but i've decided to love my family from a distance and i'm good 
Um, I don't worry about them. You know, I don't talk to them. Uh, if I see them in the streets, they speak, I speak back and, and I keep it moving because, um, it's not good to put your, wrap your emotions up in people that don't want to help themselves. You know, my thing is there is the, the law that's not written. It's called right and wrong. And if you don't understand what right and wrong is, I don't know what to say for you. It's important to understand what right and wrong is. It's important if you do somebody wrong, you should apologize to them. It doesn't matter if it's been 10 years. 10 years to the person that you did wrong, that's what they think about. They've been thinking about that for 10 years. So to get an apology from you, there's nothing wrong with you apologizing. You probably don't care, but the person that you did wrong does. And if you care about that person at all, all you need to do is just apologize. You don't need to say, if, if, if I did you wrong, if I did you wrong. The person telling you that you, you did them wrong. So if they're telling you that they did you wrong, that you did them wrong, then you need to apologize to them and you need to make wrong. You need to make right your wrong. You want it done to you. You know, when, 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 when they needed support, you didn't support them. And so all of a sudden now you need support, but you have to apologize for the wrong that you did to people. Because that way people would know that you, you're sincere and you're honest and you're changing. If you don't apologize for the wrong you did, people, people is not going to, the people that you did wrong, they just going to keep on, keep it moving. Okay. They're going to keep it moving because nobody wants to be at their old age, uh, all caught up with family members that don't give a damn. No, no, nobody wants to spend their old age doing that. I know I don't. I want to enjoy my old age. Okay, so here's what they say. What policy did Harris propose? Uh, combating price gouging on groceries and food by authorizing the Federal Trade Commission to impose large fines on grocery stores that impose excessive prices hike on customers that's one of them eliminating medical debts for millions of americans uh possibly by using federal funds to buy and forgive outstanding debts from health provider that's number two capping the out-of-pocket cost of insulin at 35 dollars per month for all americans that's number three limiting Americans annual out of the pocket spending on prescription drugs to $2,000. That's number four, providing up to $25,000 in down payment support to more than 1 million first time home buyers. Uh, calling for the constructions of 3 million new housing units over the next four years, expanding an existing tax incentive for developers who build affordable rental housing, removing tax benefits from Wall Street investors who bought, build, buy single family rental homes, preventing corporation landlords from using other rhythmic pricing settling tools to increase rental rents by large margin, passing a child tax credit that would provide 6,000 per child to families for the first year of baby's life, expanding the earned income tax credit for lower wages workers by up to 1500 notice that every one of harris proposal is designed to cut the cost of living 
whether in terms of food, medicine, housing, or child care. And nearly all of the plans are populist as well, involving government intervention against corporation interests on behalf of consumers. Now, I pulled this from an article that was put together. I'm going to uh, list this article at the end because there's more. Um, Am I saying that she was the one that I dreamed of? I don't know. But I do know that there was a black woman president. I do know all about matriarchal uh, system, how it's supposed to be, because it's, it's about wrong and right. It's about fair treatment of all people in all cultures. Uh, racism should not be tolerated. Uh, what should be implemented in the school system is the truth. The truth about the brown-skinned people, I'm going to do a video, and you, some of you are not going to like it, but uh, it, that will be my next video coming after this one. Uh, and I'm going to tell my story or her story. And the reason being because I'm one of those persons, I like to go to the beginning of the thing to understand the middle or close to the ending of the thing, because that's just how my brain functions. And I'm going to tell my story and I'm going to tell what has been downloaded to me. Now, am I saying that's something you have to accept? No, you don't have to accept anything that I say. You don't have to. You have your own opinion. You have your own thoughts. You have, but 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 one thing I think that we, we probably will come in agreement with is if you're a person that pay attention to your surrounding, uh, you will know and understand that, that this is just not right and it's not fair. Uh, it's about fair for me. Uh, when I was working, I was a very hard worker. One thing that IBM could never say that Deborah was a lazy worker, I always did above and beyond. And the reason why I was that way is because I had a little mouth on me. Uh, if something was done unfairly, I was going to say something. So because, and, and, and my attitude was, if they fire me, it's not, got, it's not going to be about the work ethic because I was a very good worker, okay? Uh, the performance was great. And, and I proud myself on that because I'm the same way as a friend. If I am a friend to you, I'm very loyal. But in, in, my, in my past, it has been the people have not been loyal to me. And so I treasure and value friendship. I treasure and value the loyalty in friendship, uh, fairness, uh, truth. I am one of those persons, I don't like fake and I don't like disrespect. You know, sometimes uh, speaking to somebody, uh, telling them how you feel, it's, it's a hard thing to do sometimes. But guess what? It may require that. Uh, truth is required, you know, because it's, it's, it's not fair that you suffer and that person is constantly being selfish about what they do. You have to tell them. You have to let people know. Not because you're in a bad mood. Never tell anybody something when you're in a bad mood because you, you're going to say some ugly stuff. But it's just important. So hopefully, if this woman is the one, hopefully she do what she says she was going to do. Uh, hopefully people from all cultures start looking at, you know, my ancestors. I want you to look at and say this. Yes, my ancestors was wrong what they're doing. And yes, those that came from the ancestors, I'm talking about the Abbeyans, they're wrong. And there are some Africans uh that are moors their ancestors was wrong and you are a uh result of the, of that ancestor and you're doing the same thing 
So I'm saying you both, you Abbeyans that are patriarchals, you need to change. And I'm also saying those uh, ones, the Panhelic, those that are part of the Moors, I'm talking about those in higher position Moors, uh, you need to change too. You know, there's different sects of you. I know who you are and you know I know who you are, but I'm not going to call you out like that, but you need to change. Uh, are, are the Democratic and Republican, they're on the same team, but I, and I know that. They just play for your energy. Don't think that they're not on the same team. They they play ball. And one, one of the things about me being a Virgo, I know how to play too. Learn that. You know, at an early age, I had no, 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 uh, I had to learn that because we were very poor. And so I had to learn to play game. Okay. So I see game, game, no game. I don't do game no more, but I know game. So let's, let's straighten this stuff up and uh, do things the right way. Uh, because, uh, you say that the great mother does not exist. Oh, she exists. <laughs> she exists in all the women that were originally, uh, came in this earth and they have daughters after that all the way up to the, this day we're here. Okay. So do the right thing, people. 